Let's go, baby. Let's do it. We here, baby. We here. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm fucking ready, baby. I've been ready. I've been ready for this shit. Let's see what's going to happen, baby. I'm ready, man. Yo, we here, man. January 2015. I can't believe the damn fucking Nintendo Direct was announced this early, this quickly, man. Not only for just the earliness in the month, but I mean on top of everything else, just the fact that it, they announced it and then it happens two days later, Nintendo is going crazy right now. I don't know what's going on. That is that okay, though? I'm telling you, it's going to be live. It's going to be live. Let's go. Ooh, the chat's looking crazy right now. I don't know what the fuck's going on in that chat, man. Damn, dudes, let's go. Everybody's in here. Oh, man, I got the chat displaying in the um in the live stream, too, so that way you can see the bullshit that you spew out on a regular basis yourselves. But, I mean, okay, so give me a second. I'm going to load up my stream on my phone right here, as you can see. I got everything on my phone so I can monitor the, the comments, all that shit. I'm prepared. Your boy came with his dick ready. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, man, all right. Holy shit. Okay, I gotta check out something. That Tharja though, that full body shot. Oh yes, oh yes, them, that full body of Tharja, very clean, very clean. Them feet, <laughs> shout out to Kobe. <laughs> them feet. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's going on here? Where's um, where's my dude Redcoin at? Where's my dude Redcoin? Um, we got got my dude um Adrian right there, but we don't got my dude F Red. Oh, oh, Noodler! My dude Noodler! Let's go! Oh, my dudes are here! My dudes are here! Noodler! Oh, man! Twitch name is... Alright, Noodler. Wait a minute, is that the real Noodler? Is that the real Noodler? Noodler, is that the real you? I don't know, Noodler. I don't know. I'm, I'm skeptical right now. But, um... Oh, man, we don't have that much time. We got three minutes, baby. Three minutes. I'm going to mod now Redcoin Media. Let's go. Man, this music is so perfectly fitting with this. Mod Redcoin Media. Okay, so there we go. It looks like so far we got all of our mods in here, baby. We got um, we got me, Livy Senpai, and um, Redcoin Media. But for some reason, he's not showing up in the action. Oh, it's starting! It's starting! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Here we go! What the fuck's going down, baby? Oh shit! We did. We here. Let's go. Iwata. Everyone. I'm Iwata! Nintendo. This is the first Nintendo Direct of 2015. Iwata! And I would like to wish you all the best. Yes, you too! Brand new year. You too! First, the new Nintendo 3DS. Take a look at this video. What's going on, Iwata? What's this, Iwata? Oh, Fire Emblem! Wait, wait, is this Fire Emblem? And Fire Emblem Machine Megami Tensei? Oh, no, 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 maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe not. What is this? You too, you too. Okay, so um, I'm I don't know what this is, but wait, Monster Hunter? This Monster Hunter or is this Shadow of Colossus? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh, wait, hold on. I'm just going to raise the volume of the street of the. What is this? Fire Emblem? Is this Fire Emblem and Shimigami Tensei? I think it is Fire Emblem. Oh, shit, nigga! Wait a minute, Fire Emblem! Oh, shit, nigga! Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Is that Sumia? Is that Sumia? Oh, shit, nigga! What's going on? What's going on? Oh, damn, nigga, what? This shit looks crazy! Whoa! It's in Japanese, so they don't have a translation yet? Grima's Revenge? Is this Grima's Revenge? Oh my god, this looks amazing! All these characters, you know, Fire Emblem series is just great for characters, man. Where's Throbin, though? <laughs> Throbin's not gonna be in it, I know that much. What? Nigga! Why are all the Fire Emblem girls so bad? Why are they all so bad? Latest in the Fire Emblem series. What is it called? The latest title in the Fire Emblem series will come to Nintendo 3DS. 
Okay. This game is developed by the same team as Fire Emblem Awakening. Perfect. And just like in that game, the character design for this new title will be by Mr. Kozaki Yusuke. Sounds good so far. However, the game content itself is completely new. Oh, it Mr. seems Shiki like Bayashi, it. A well-known comic book writer joined the team to generate a unique atmosphere for this title. Oh, by the way, the Fire Emblem that leak from 4chan? False. Because they said it started with Metroid. Start with Fire Emblem. Choices that affect the world as they know it. From conversation choices to battle tactics. In this new game, you will make even bigger choices, and the effect of these choices on the world will be greater than ever. It is a game that will include yeah. new challenges, the likes of which have never been seen in the series up until now. Next, I'd like to talk about a puzzle game that has been very popular in Japan and is now coming to Europe and North America. Please take a look at this video. Okay, so we got a new puzzle game. Fire Emblem, a new title announced in the Fire Emblem franchise. And we got Yu-Gi-Oh! Yay! I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Waifu Emblem 2 has been announced, baby! Let's go! Puzzles and Dragons. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! This sounds familiar to me! Puzzles and Dragons? Isn't this part of the stuff that was leaked? Wait a minute, wait, 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 Oh, oh, the thing is real! It says a trailer that shows Japanese Mario themed Puzzle Dragon Game Dragons X. Puzzle Game Dragons X? Puzzles and Dragons X. Z, Z. Oh, oh shit! Maybe this thing is real! Maybe it's real! But it didn't say anything about a. Did it say anything about New Fire Emblem? It did say something about New Fire Emblem. But oh shit! Okay, so we're working with the. Le What's going on with this stream, man? What's going on with this leaker? What was he talking about? Use the power of orbs to take down Bowser's minions. Wait a minute, so this is something that's involved in Mario 2? He was right! What's the leak? Is the leak real or is it fake? Because he predicted a game accurately, but he got the starting title wrong. It's not Metroid. What's going on? This looks pretty cool though. Even though I'm not into Mario, but it looks pretty cool. What's Puzzle going on? Dragons is a puzzle game series which features RPG and strategy elements. Etika, this game isn't new? Oh, oh, oh. okay. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Let's revert it. Let's revert. Everything that I just said was literally ignorance from my mouth. I apologize. We knew about this game. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shit. You can form a party of beloved Mushroom Kingdom citizens like Mario, Luigi, and Toad, or even Bowser buddies like Koopa Troopa and Goomba. And they'll level up as they battle. Both the games you saw in the video, Puzzle and Dragon Z, and Puzzle and Dragon DLC, Super please. Mario Brothers. Enjoy the leak. Let's enjoy it. Let's see it as it unfolds. You're right. You're right. You're right. This does look interesting though. It looks, it looks kinda cool. I'm not into Mario, but... Next, I'd like to introduce a new game to you for the first time, Pokemon Shuffle. Pokemon Shuffle, this okay. This puzzle game is available from Nintendo eShop, and you can start playing it... <laughs> the comments. Yo, this game looks like shit. <laughs> Come on, dudes. ...of the same three or more Pokemon to clear them from the screen and finish stages. In Pokemon Shuffle, there is a limit on how many moves too many fucking make. puzzles yeah i know right too many you fucking puzzles damage effectively and reduce the hp of the wild pokemon to zero in the number of moves you have available to finish the stage each pokemon turn up the direct volume please etika okay you can battle more effectively. i'll turn down my volume Let and then turn up the streams volume. Oh, anyway, i'm making them stronger all right so hopefully now you guys can hear the stream better mega evolve and are able to remove many other Pokemon from the screen in one go. 
in Pokemon Shuffle, Let's see if the stream you is start good. with five pearls and you use one nap every time you battle. Run out. And All right, so um, before you can battle again. So so far, that Fire Emblem is looking sexy though. And this stream is 47 minutes. This direct is 47 minutes. So this means that at some point they said that I'm hoping Fire. I'm, I'm, excuse me. I'm, I'm losing. My brain is like fucking scrambled right now. But um, Fire Emblem is looking like it's going to be a crazy game. Did it have an announcement date though? I don't remember. It doesn't even have a title yet. But one thing that I'm excited to see is that Xenoblade Chronicles X, baby. Show us some more of that Xenoblade. Um, Allowing players with different play style to enjoy the game. Oh man! Pokemon Shuffle will be available. Let me see how my February mods are doing. In February. Now let's move on to Wii. U. Wii U. Please take a look at this. Okay, what's going on? There are some Wii software icons on the Wii U menu. These okay. icons are for Wii disc titles that have been reproduced as downloadable software for Wii U. Okay, some old games, and nice. And you can start each game directly from the Wii U menu without first going into Wii mode. Okay, nice, Wii nice. U's backwards compatibility with Wii was developed by switching the hardware function to Wii mode. Mm -hmm. Because of this, in the past, we couldn't distribute Wii disk software for download on Wii U. Yeah. Now that we can reproduce Wii Disk software on Wii U. We can make these titles available to download. And some of the Wii games that were compatible with Wii Classic controller can be played using only the Wii U Gamepad 2. Okay, it's good to know. We are really integrating the Wii, the Wii with the Wii U. Has an extensive software catalog. <laughs> that it does. But Wii U owners may not have had the chance to play some Wii games even if they were interested in playing them when those titles were first released. We hope these new possibilities will allow Wii U owners to enjoy these Wii games more easily. Okay. Super Mario yeah, the, Galaxy the fact that you can get the Metro. Available shortly after this presentation. <clears throat> okay. Punch Out will be available on January 20th. Very nice, very nice. Metroid Prime Trilogy that's going to be great to be able to to be able to play through the Metroid game, the trilogy. These three titles will be available for half price for one week. This is impressive, Nintendo. Very good shit. Very, very good shit, Nintendo. We also plan to release more Wii titles on Nintendo eShop for Wii. That's all from me. Let's pass it over to Bill Trinan from Nintendo of America for some more news. Okay. Thank you. Later, Iwata. Oh, it's cool, baby. Thank you, Mr. Iwata. All right, so we Let's got the Metroid Trilogy rolling. coming on the Wii U. That's Rainbow awesome. Curse. In this clever Kirby game, guiding oh, look, it's Mario and the Rainbow Curse. <laughs> stages isn't your only goal. There are tons of collectibles to find in every stage, including hidden treasure chests. You know, Kirby's Touch always cool. To see what prize you get, like songs to listen to or in-game figurines. Some treasure chests are really hard to find, especially considering that you have a limited amount of ink to draw rainbow ropes with. If you run out, Kirby may find himself in a tight spot. Levels like Blue Sky Palace have no ground, so run out of ink and you'll meet an ill fate. But it's mm. all worth it for those figurines. You can take in their glory from different angles in the figurine showcase. Hey, those kind of look like Amiibo. And speaking of, there's plenty to do with Amiibo in Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Okay, so Amiibo compatibility. Once per day, you can touch Select Amiibo to the Wii U Gamepad controller to power up Kirby. Tapping the Kirby amiibo to the gamepad will let you use his star dash whenever you want, without having to collect 100 stars like usual. Okay. Likewise, you can get a matching hat from the King DDD amiibo, plus six health bars instead of the normal four. And if you get the Meta Knight hat by using his amiibo, your Kirby's tap dash speed will increase, allowing him to plow through weaker enemies. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse will roll onto store shelves and into the Nintendo eShop for Wii U on February 20th, 2015. <laughs> These comments, it looks lumpy as fuck. We're talking it's clay, dumbass. The, of the next wave of Super Smash Bros. Amiibo is right around the corner. Woo, Shulk. Look for 11 new Amiibo to hit store shelves in February. And I've got some exciting news. I'm getting the Shulk one. We're ready to announce a whole new wave of Super Smash Bros. series Amiibo. This next wave will... Robin! Robin! Oh, God, Batman, yes! Mario, yes! Nets Robin, Earth, finally! and Charizard, you'll start to see them appear in stores this spring. Woohoo, Robin, yes! 
But Super Smash Bros. isn't the only series that will receive Amiibo. I'm excited to announce that a new Super Mario series of Amiibo will say hello to the world okay. on March 20th. Okay, Mario of course gets his own this Amiibo. This lineup includes Mario, Luigi, How do you say the niggas Peach, lumpy? Like, come Yoshi, on, son. Bowser, and, for the first time, Toad. And they'll be launching alongside a new game that will take Amiibo to the next level, Mario Party 10. You may have noticed some of these characters also appeared in the Super Smash Bros. series of Amiibo. Of course. Well, regardless which version of character you buy, they'll function exactly the same way. Check in at the address on screen as we update this list, so you can find out which Amiibo are compatible with which games. Okay. They're really trying to make Mario this Amiibo Party thing come through, man. three different modes of Mario Party gameplay. The traditional Party Okay, mode, some Mario Party 10 stuff, but I mean, Party damn. Introduced at E3, so it looks like we're getting a lot of great stuff in terms of um, Amiibo, like a lot of functionality, like they're making a whole series of Mario Amiibo, which is cool I guess, but you know, they're bringing a whole new set of Smash Brothers Amiibo in there too. You got Lukina, you got Robin, I know her name is Lucina, I just like fucking with people because the Japanese pronunciation is Lukina, <laughs> but I mean, we got some crazy stuff going on man. Got Robin finally coming to the Amiibo roster, you know I'm getting at least 10 of those. I wish. And Each I, I really wish that they had so Red Robin, or at least female Robin. Robin. Even if you can't give us Robin, so you know, even if you can't give us the alternative colors of the characters, for you at least give female play. Robin Amiibo. Decide female Robin Amiibo! Time to take the skip! <laughs> I'll learn whatever you want, Etika. <laughs> oh man, a true tactician has nothing to fear, bitch. <laughs> oh man. Um, Lukina! Oh man. Rosalina and Luma, Donkey Kong, and Wario. If you decide to use your Super Smash Bros. Amiibo in Mario Party 10, you will need to erase that figure's Smash Bros. Amiibo data. Mario Party 10 will be available in stores and on the Nintendo eShop for Wii U March 20th. You have to have an Amiibo to play Amiibo Party, so we'll also be offering a limited number of special bundles at select retailers, okay. which will include the Mario Amiibo from the Super Mario series I mentioned earlier. Another game that will use one of the new Amiibo from the Super Mario series is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, which was released last year. This is a good game, I heard. The Toad I heard it was a very good Super game. Mario Brothers line will be compatible with that game. When you tap the Toad Amiibo on your Wii U gamepad, Pixel Toad will appear in a stage and hide from the player, waiting to be found hide-and-seek style. An update will add this function to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker on March 20th, the same day the Toad Amiibo becomes available. Next, let's switch over to another Wii U title coming in 2015. Okay. Splatoon. Ooh, we got some Splatoon news, baby! This is what I was waiting Splatoon for, too. Splatoon is an action-packed shooting game where you play a squid-like ink. Yeah, it looks awesome, man. I love the movement system. Moving through the ink? ink. I love that shit. We've already announced a four-on-four -four online multiplayer mode. Okay. And a single-player mode. Wow, so like a campaign? But oh shit. Time, we'd like to tell you about the Inkling central hub that connects all the game modes together. What? Yo, this is some jet set game, radio you'll type land shit. In this plaza area. Inklings who are sent here by Amiiverse will be walking around and you can communicate with them. The tower you see right now is an important landmark. This looks so badass. This tower and you can play the online multiplayer mode with other Inklings from around the world. Yo, this looks amazing! You may have already noticed, but each Inkling is equipped with their own weapon and outfit. Customization? Can be purchased at the shopping center with in-game money you earn by playing multiplayer mode. At the shopping center, there's a weapon shop run by a militaristic crab and a headgear shop where a shy sea anemone is working as a store clerk. Okay. There's also a clothing shop and a shoe shop. So you got some customization options, man. This is looking awesome, yo. You can this looks so badass. Any time in the plaza. For weapons, you select a set of three at a time. Your go-to weapon of choice for dealing with the most enemies is, of course, your main weapon. You'll also have a backup sub-weapon to help create diversions or block your enemy's path. What? Oh, shit. This looks so crazy! Grenades? You'll have a weapon that can be charged up to inflict major damage. Your special weapon. And then you can... Depending on your setup, you'll have to adjust your strategy. You can also modify your character's stats, such as strength and speed, by choosing the right gear for your head, 
is, clothes and shoes. Is Team Fortress 2? This isn't Team Fortress 2, dumbass. <laughs> different players will respond to different styles of custom outfits. So if you want, you can focus on your looks rather than your strategy. You can also check out other Inklings outfits and equipment in the plaza too, so it's a good place to get inspired. Try entering a battle with new clothes and equipment. You may just discover a new way to fight. This looks so badass. Soon will be available in stores and on the Nintendo eShop. Please, Wii U early spring. This May. Okay, May. That's my birth month. Thanks okay. To Warriors, Splatoon looks amazing. It looks so badass and cool. I love this game. Tons of other beloved Zelda characters. Oh, Zelda! There's another Zelda game on the way to Nintendo 3DS. Okay. The 3DS. Of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Okay. So in honor of that game, we have some new downloadable content on the way for Hyrule Warriors. Yo. Tingle. Is ready for action. This nigga tingles Just be back glad in the. He's on your side. His main weapon is his balloons, but he'll also DLC for high rewards. With a giant wallet full of rupees, his Kululimpa dance, and even a fatal kiss of death. As for Young Link, his main Young weapon Link? is the Kokiri sword. Yo! And he also comes equipped with the fierce Didi's mask, allowing him to briefly transform and unleash powerful special attacks. Yo! Both of these characters are included My, in Majora's, the Majora's mask, mask Pack, which also comes with a new adventure mode map and three additional costumes when it becomes available on February 5th. Oh, that's Impa. Stay tuned for more And the Skull Kid? And who's that? She? Next, we have a new Xenoblade Chronicles X. Next title, oh, oh, oh. Xenoblade Chronicles X. Yes, that showcases various locations from around planet Nira. Oh, oh. Please take a look. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> Young Link in Hyrule Warriors, though. Yo. The Xenoblade story is so crazy. It's so sad, man. Humanity is just destroyed. Where's Monado, boy? Oh my god, you're lucky the world had oxygen. Is that, um, is that autism? Chan what, what was her name? ADHD? Chan I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. But. Wow, this, look at this, oh my god, oh my god, this is, oh, Fantasy Star Online 2, you know what, screw you, Sega, you ain't give us no Fantasy Star Online 2, well, Nintendo and Monolith Soft gave us Xenoblade Chronicles X, this is the best thing I could have in my life right now, oh my god, yes, look at this beautiful world, oh my god, Yo, and Final Fantasy 15 is coming out too. You're going, look at how amazing this looks. Yo! And they even, oh my goodness gracious me. Look at this! This better be multiplayer online. This better be multiplayer online. Oh my god! Oh my god! I think this is more pretty. I think this is more beautiful. No, no, no. Final Fantasy 15, you know it's going to look beautiful. But this is so awe-inspiring this is the Monado's power <laughs> oh my god this is amazing Seno Blade. and then you have new Los Angeles new LA and that's what it's called new L neo LA something like that Together we resolve to forge a new way of life here in Mira. Stay tuned for more information on Xenoblade Chronicles X in the near future. 2015? Year, no date? We announced a new game for Wii U. Its name, Mario vs. Donkey Kong okay. Keeping Stars, is centered on an important new feature. Now, there's a new way to enjoy the puzzling, toy-guiding touch gameplay that fans love. As with previous games in the series, you can create your own levels and then share them with other players it's online. Hot again, man. But now, really you can hot. reward the people who make your favorite levels using the all-new tipping system. As you beat levels... This is the Nintendo Hype Train Power! <laughs> ...and you can cash in those stars to make new parts of the level creation. So if you like a level tutorial, tip them some stars sometime. That way, they'll be able to create even more imaginative levels using the stars you tip them. 
For the first time, alongside the Wii U game, we'll also be releasing the game on Nintendo 3DS. Both of these download titles will be available for purchase directly from the Nintendo eShop, and we plan on giving anyone who buys the Wii U game a free download code for the game on Nintendo 3DS, and vice versa. So now you can play the game on your system of choice, or even share levels between versions of the game through Miiverse, which is built directly into the game. Sorry. Mario vs. Donkey Kong Tipping Stars is available exclusively through the Nintendo eShop on Wii U and Nintendo I wish they showed us more Xenoblade, but all we got was like more understanding. We now know how- Now, here's a quick look at some great games coming to Wii U and Nintendo 3DS from some of our development partners. What's this? Wii U title ヨニンで協力しながら様々な世界観のマップを攻略していくアクションゲームです。罠を解除しながら、罠を解除しながら敵を蹴散らして、え、お宝を強奪してくる。What the hell? You can't announce the game's name or launch date yet. Yo, this. Why do you announce such badass stuff and you don't have nothing to show for it? What kind of game is it? Project Treasure. Yo, Bandai. But then again, Bandai Namco. They know what they're doing, man. I trust them. He said we can't announce the name. We can't announce a date. But it's gonna be badass and it's gonna be free. Developed exclusively for Wii U. Please wait for further updates from Bandai Namco Entertainment. In Elliot Quest, you'll explore an open world filled Okay, so indie titles, and little, little, little titles. Can help you cure it's Kid Icarus, yay! Immortality. Adventure through dungeons as you collect abilities and spells while questing to defeat 16 unique bosses and unlock multiple endings. With the unique and innovative gameplay and beautiful puzzles, Black delighted the press, the players, and many judges. <laughs> Someone in the comment said, Sakurai must be giving players. trolling lessons. <laughs> it's a game about imagination, curiosity and experimenting that has even been exhibited in museums and now on wii u you'll be able to immerse yourself in a meditative game of black on your tv or off screen with the gamepad it's all about bringing your paintings and your imagination to life with the touch of your finger with its cartoon graphics and touch controls citizens of earth has a modern look and feel but at heart it's a retro japanese style rpg from eden industries and atlas usa Players take on the role of Vice President of Earth. Yes, you heard that correctly. The Vice President the of Earth. Vice President of Earth, who awakens the morning after his election to find that his whole planet has gone berserk. To get to the bottom of things, you'll have to team up with an odd assortment of more than 40 characters scattered what around the, the game. What the hell? With a humorous story and plenty of quests and side quests, this game can be played as a casual adventure or a full-on RPG. The original Damn. Gunman Clive was a breakout hit on the Nintendo 3DS eShop, and now the hardcore gunfighter is back in Gunman Clive 2. This looks pretty cool. This time there are four playable characters to choose between, each with their own unique abilities, plus more bosses, more levels, and yes, more colors. Another exclusive is headed to the eShop. <laughs> is this Newt Gringrich? <laughs> New episodes of Moon Whoa. continue Renegade Kids sci-fi first person. It's adventure. Metroid Prime Hunters. Three remaining episodes in Major Kane's Lunar Journey will be released on the same this looks day badass. of download, giving fans the opportunity to experience the I'll play this. season with I'll play this. This looks Players badass. Can purchase the new content individually as separate episodes or choose to go for the season pass, which contains all three remaining episodes for a lower price. What was that Earthbound ripoff? What the Sega will be releasing a new batch of 3D classics for Nintendo 3DS. Aww, that's the cool. The first new 3D remake got... will be 3D Afterburner 2, followed by 3D Fantasy Zone, okay. 3D Outrun, 3D Fantasy Zone 2, no Sanic? and 3D Thunderblade. This looks pretty cool. Each game will deliver a full-fledged vintage arcade experience recreating the environment down to the mechanical sound of an arcade machine. From Atlas and Spike Chunsoft comes a Nintendo 3DS exclusive that blends the gameplay of two dungeon crawlers to create an RPG experience like no other. Etrian Mystery Dungeon 
gives players the freedom to create their own eclectic party of heroes, like in the Etrian Odyssey series, and then take that party on a near-infinite dungeon-exploring, loot-hunting quest, just like in the Mystery Dungeon series. Story of Seasons is the rebirth of the Bokujo Monogatari series that has Why do all Nintendo games look like they were made in 1980? Story of Seasons. The globe ...with its fun combination of farming and life simulation. The latest entry is all about connecting with other lands across the game world or with other players... Ah, so it's a shitty Fire Emblem! <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. And with the introduction of a new safari area, players will now have access to many new exotic animals such as penguins, elephants, and camels. But, of course, the beloved farming and relationship-building gameplay you love will make a return when the game comes exclusively to the Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. We've got Reggie coming up next with Reggie! a special announcement. But first, let's dig into one more Nintendo 3DS title. Harvest the new Moon! The in the Fossil Fighter series is stomping your way. So get ready to hop in your own custom vehicle and explore the full 3D world of Fossil Fighters Frontier, filled with buried fossils just waiting to be dug up. Any fossil you find can be revived as a vivisaur okay, and whoa. be pitted against other vivisaurs in massive reptile rumbles of prehistoric proportions. I love the Monster Rancher as a kid. Two players can team up to battle each other's vivisaurs. Monsters rule! In tournaments Monster Rancher! <laughs> that shit was, this is, looks like some Monster, Monster Rancher type shit. Friends can also team up online to explore the world together, Whoa. pick up fossils, and battle as allies against rogue vivisaurs. Whoa! And for those who feel their vivisaur team is ready for the fires of battle, head over to the new Fossil Stadium, an arena where you can enter tournaments, refine your skills, and see how your team this looks cool. up against the rest. This looks so cool! The game Fossil Fighters Frontier is coming to life March 20th of 2015. Yo! In stores and I'm so salty! Shop. Well, I don't- I mean, I know these games take right, time. That's it for but now. I would love for them that's to announce something ready. cool, and it be out right away. Like, get it after the direct! Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Reggie! In March of 2011, My nigga Reggie. The Nintendo 3DS launched in the Americas. And later on, it was that new 3DS? Nintendo 3DS XL and Nintendo 2DS. This family Nintendo of handheld systems <laughs> has become a dude, varied Reggie. and robust lineup of games. From the new titles in the Super Mario, Zelda, and Animal Crossing series, to games like Kid Icarus Uprising, yep. Fire Emblem Awakening, Woo! Star Fox 64 3D, and Damn. Today, we'd like to share with you our plans for the future of Nintendo 3DS in the Americas by introducing you to the newest member of the Nintendo 3DS. Because we don't know about it already. It'll continue to play all of the titles I just mentioned, as well as many new games that are still on the way. Please take a look. And if you don't, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> Let's go new 3DS. Because we don't know about this yet. Oh, there's a red color. My nigga, that is looking like some sexy cruising right there. Red Robin in this bitch. Let's move. Oh, they got a nice red. Finally, they give America a badass color over Japan. Thank you, Reggie. Oh, Reggie. Oh, Reggie. Reggie. Oh, shit. All right, so finally, the colors. I wish they gave us two amazing, unique colors, but the red is fine. You know, it's fine. And amiibo functionality, of course. But damn, man, that red is looking so sexual. If, if they do something like make the the American XL faceplate customizable, make the American faceplate customizable, and I'm gonna lose my shit. Make the 3DS, make the new 3DS XL American faceplate compatible, and I will make love to Nintendo, yo. Wait, so that ad that we saw from GameStop, it was real. It was real. February 13th, the GameStop leak was real. February 13th, baby. Only a month. The new Nintendo 3DS XL system will release in North America on February 13th. That leak was real. GameStop, props. It features a number of new enhancements designed to offer the smoothest and most engrossing on-the-go gaming possible. We know you work to make that thing now smooth, Reggie. It's the best time to be a part of the Nintendo 3DS generation. With games like The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask 3D, Ooh. and Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate on the way. Okay. The new Nintendo 3DS XL is a great new reason to play Codename Steam and to replay recent releases like Super Hell Smash yeah, Wii man. That C-Stick, though. 
That C stick. To see games in 3D, the screen on the original Nintendo 3DS needed to be viewed from the very center. So if your face or hands move unintentionally, you aren't able to properly experience the 3D effect. Mm -hmm. For this reason, many players simply turn the 3D off. But that's about to change because new Nintendo 3DS XL offers brand new, super stable face, face recognition. How, how functional will it be though? It's will it really be that good? Camera I don't know. It actually tracks the position of your face as you play games, dynamically adjusting the 3D sweet spot to ensure stable viewing at a wider angle. She's gonna have like Even a two hour battery life. Games like Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS. And because it's a hardware feature, it works with all Nintendo 3DS games. Okay. In addition to face tracking 3D, there are physical enhancements to the system as well. The big new addition is the C stick. Yeah. Although it may look like a small button, it can detect subtle analog input from players and allows for intuitive control. Now you can Someone in the chat has a new 3DS already. It says, "Oh, I have a new 3DS." Someone said it in the chat. For special accessories. So, for example, in Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS, the C stick allows you to execute smash attacks with ease. Yep. You can also enjoy using the C stick with previously released Circle Pad Pro compatible titles like Steel Diver, Sub Wars, Resident Evil Revelations, and more. The processing power of the new Nintendo 3DS XL has also seen a boost compared to the previous month. Of course, Reggie. And this power we know what you've been doing. For more than just super stable face tracking 3D technology. It also makes the entire system run smoother, speeding up the home menu and its related applications like the internet browser and Mii Maker. While speeding up boot up times for games like Super Smash Brothers. Of course. By all means, the processing power is good on that thing. You notice that they're showing us the, the demonstration of the new 3DS with the XL. The XL has better processing power than the new 3DS regular. Hidden beneath the touchscreen, you'll find another new feature that you may be familiar with from Wii U. It's called Near Field Communication, or NFC for short. Okay. This wireless form of communication allows new Nintendo 3DS XL to interact with Amiibo figures. After an update planned for February, Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS will be the first Amiibo compatible title when played on new Nintendo 3DS XL. You'll be able to power up your Super Smash Brothers series Amiibo on the go with all the gear you've already unlocked in the game. Sure. Just by tapping your Amiibo to the touchscreen. And to see Amiibo functionality in new the future. Nintendo 3DS XL also has a slightly longer battery life than previous models and will now automatically adjust the brightness of the screens based on lighting conditions. So you can enjoy playing comfortably while also saving battery life. Very nice. With new Nintendo 3DS XL, there's also a change to the memory card compatibility. Okay. In order to maintain the system size while enhancing the hardware specifications and performance, we decided to use smaller micro SD cards ah, instead of yeah, the standard they... SD cards. A 4 gig micro SD card will come with the new hardware. Those of you currently enjoying Nintendo 3DS can transfer saved data and continue gaming on the new hardware. We'll provide detailed instructions on the best way to transfer your data in the coming weeks. The new Nintendo 3DS XL system will be available in mm. red and new black when it releases in the Americas right. on February 13th. That, that XL color, it reminds me of the color that used to exist for the, the DSi XL. not include an AC adapter. However, you can use an existing AC adapter from any system in the Nintendo DSi or Nintendo 3DS family or purchase one separately. The future These cheap of niggas. Nintendo 3DS and 3D gaming is here. Yep. Seeing truly is believing. So, Let's take a Reggie, look at I was at that upcoming Reggie, I was at that 3DS event, Reggie. I saw your ass. You remember what I said to you? Bill? <laughs> no homo. <laughs> Thanks, Reggie. The games keep coming in 2015. A month after the launch of new Nintendo 3DS XL, 
Abraham Lincoln will bring together heroes from classic okay. literature and American folklore to fend off an alien invasion. Well, damn, Abe. Steam comes to us from the creators of Fire Emblem and Advance Wars, and their new hybrid of turn-based strategy and real-time action plays like nothing else out there. It's all about picking the right four-hero team and using their special steam-powered abilities to outthink and outgun hordes of intelligent enemies. Manipulating the camera is key when scouting and planning out strategic attacks. Luckily, you can easily control the camera using the touchscreen, or by playing on a new Nintendo 3DS That C-Stick. You can use the new C-Stick to adjust the camera and plan your next move. And best of all, Codename Steam will be one of the first Nintendo 3DS games to use Amiibo. Okay. Believe it or not, the Fire Emblem Mark? characters that appeared in Super Smash Bros. My dude, Mark and I. What the they hell, Robin? The of the story oh story, shit! But tap an Amiibo of a Fire oh, Emblem oh. character like Marth or Ike to the new Nintendo I can 3DS have Excel touchscreen, and you can add them to your roster to fight alongside your team in battle. In the tradition of Fire Emblem, Amiibo characters that fall in battle cannot be revived at checkpoints during a fight. You'll have to wait until the match is over and tap the amiibo on the touch screen again to have that hero rejoin your team. It's an added risk that strategy fans will love. Oh my god. Plus, the Fire Emblem characters wield weaponry pulled straight from their core series. Okay. Like Marth's sacred sword, the Falchion. It's definitely a heavy hit. Show more Robin! His rapier is even better for striking weak spots. And his special, the he doesn't speak ball, Japanese. Heals a substantial amount of damage. He should speak Japanese. Lukina. As for Ike, his blessed blade Ragnell sends out powerful shockwaves. He also comes armed with the wide swinging axe Irvin and his special move. Aether. The Ike amiibo will release in February, with Robin and Lucina coming later this spring. Robin, and why do we have to wait for them? If you didn't manage to pick up a Martha amiibo when they launched last year. You're in luck. You're gonna sell them. Planning on bringing more to the U.S. a bit later this year, so stay tuned for more. Oh my God! Show us more Good Robin. Launches on Nintendo 3DS. Oh my God! New Nintendo this looks amazing. With enhanced features on March. Yo, codename Steam and looks badass. On the Nintendo eShop, Ace Combat Assault Horizon Legacy Plus is back with new features you can only experience on the new Nintendo 3DS XL. With the improved 3D view, I can have Robin fight with Abraham Lincoln, dog. What the fuck? From the cockpit of an ultra realistic aircraft. And by utilizing the added C stick and the ZR and ZL buttons, they'll now have total control over the skies. The developers have also collaborated with Nintendo to provide special aircraft skins that can be unlocked in game or by using select amiibo figures. The latest in air combat will be available in stores or on the Nintendo 3DS eShop starting February. They're releasing a lot of games that are compatible with the Next Amiibo on the handheld now. information about the new Nintendo 3DS XL exclusive version of Xenoblade Chronicles, Ooh! which we announced for Japan last August. Okay, I would love to play the original Xenoblade. The original Wii game designed to make full use that of Guar the new plays. Nintendo 3DS XL hardware. The new version offers 3D visuals and allows players to view maps and character stats on the bottom screen. There's also a bonus mode where you can view 3D models of the characters. Since the developer of the Wii version, Monolith Soft, is currently hard at work on Xenoblade Chronicles X, of course. we tasked Monster Games with this project. The same developers who expertly ported Donkey Kong Country Returns from the Wii to the Nintendo 3DS. Okay. Damn, man. You know, of course the graphics aren't going to be up there like that, but this looks amazing. Available in April, 2015. April? That's not too bad. For new Nintendo 3DS the new Nintendo 3DS comes out in February. Brand new game coming to the Nintendo 3DS eShop. Let's start with the trailer. Okay, what the hell are we looking at? Whoa! Oh man, we got Gears of War for fucking new 3DS. Stunning, F 60 FPS, very nice. That you were able to do that on a handheld, very good. Created by a small team of three talented indie developers. Three niggas? Dev, Ironfall will bring fast-paced shooting action straight to your handheld. The game is perfectly suited for using the C-Stick on new Nintendo 3DS. Yo! It may just give you the edge you need to fight off the invasion. It can also be played on any Nintendo 3DS or 2DS system. 
Look out for Ironfall on the Nintendo 3DS eShop soon. That looks awesome, man. Ironfall. We are what? We to announce today that Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate will receive a special edition new Nintendo 3DS XL in North America. Woo! Woo! This bundle will be available alongside the launch of the new Nintendo 3DS XL on February 13th. Oh, I'm getting that. At GameStop. GameStop. My baby, you get me a Monster Hunter 3DS. You get me a Monster Hunter 3DS. Oh my god. About Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Oh shit! The new Monster Hunter 3DS XL Edition! Boy, let's fuck! Oh, the 3DS, not the dude. <laughs> no, no. Come here, fuck Yo, my fucking wallet. Yo, my fucking wallet right now is hurting, man. How am I gonna afford this shit by the 13th? And you know if you don't get it soon, then it's gonna be sold out. Monster Hunter looks awesome, man. Looks really cool, man. The customization options are crazy. え、両方プレイできるようになっておりまして、シングルでクリ広げられるストーリー。こちらの方も用意させていただいておりますし、えっと、みんなで持ち寄って遊ぶローカル通信プレイ、え、インターネットケーブで遠く離れた方でも遊
Even though we didn't get any Smash Brothers, no Mewtwo, still we got some crazy announcements, man. The, one of the biggest ones, in my opinion, is that Fire Emblem. Codename Steam looks fucking amazing as well, because of Robin. Um, what else do we have? Xenoblade Chronicles X! Xenoblade Chronicles X! Dog! And then the new red, and the red new 3DS, and then the silver Monster Hunter new 3DS? I wish they had a better name. That, those two consoles look amazing. The new Monster Hunter 3DS, man, that, that looks amazing. Yo, we got a lot of good stuff. Splatoon, the online hub, looks fucking phenomenal. Splatoon's gonna be that shit. Watch. Oh, man, there's a lot of great stuff, though. There was a lot of great stuff that was announced in that direct, man. Majora's Mask 3D, still top-end title, man. Top-end title. This is going to be crazy. There's so much stuff happening on February 13th. I don't know, man. This is going to be a lot to hit. My wallet's done. February 13th, it's over. Etika World Network shutting down. We ain't going to have no fucking money in this, bitch. Damn. This shit is crazy. But damn, guys. All right. Well, that was it. That was everything in the January... 2015 Nintendo Direct, man. This was eventful. We didn't really get the few things that we wanted, but we got a lot of awesome stuff in between, you know? I'm glad that that leak on 4chan was not real, because it basically meant that we were seeing everything brand new for the first time. Nothing was spoiled to us. We were learning it all as we saw it, and that was an amazing thing to see, man. Um, let, me, let me see. What were some of the highlights for you guys in the comments, man? Uh, more Fire Emblem. It was a decent direct. It was a very decent direct. Some directs I watched, and I was like, meh, but this one was cool. There were a lot of awesome titles announced. Um, oh, man. Oh, man, though. Yo, this shit is crazy, man. <laughs> Nintendo, February 13th is Nintendo's bank robbing day. You're damn right, man. You're goddamn right, man. It's damn. There's so much happening on February 13th, man. I hope Katsukiri or Loopy are able to modify the new 3DS so that way I can record footage off of that bitch because it's going to be amazing. It's, it's going to be amazing seeing all those titles for it. It seems like the only exclusive title, however, for the new Nintendo 3DS, for the new 3DS, I'm just calling it, yeah, the new, the only exclusive title for the new 3DS is Xenoblade um, Chronicles 3D. But still, it, oh man, it, it's, uh, there's so much to take in mind. All right, guys, so that was a Nintendo Direct, man. Let me know, you know, exactly what you felt about it. Let me know on Twitter, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, if you do happen to come across my little Twitch channel for the first time, this is your first time seeing me, definitely leave a follow, man. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff to cover all this hype that was revealed in this Direct in the future, especially once I move to my own apartment. Right now, I only have 10% of my ability to make videos here. But when I move, I have 100%. So, I mean, hey, there's going to be a lot of coverage, man. I need you to stay in touch with your boy. Stay in touch with your boy. Boy. Oh man, there's so much cool shit. I feel like I'm forgetting a lot of stuff. But Xenoblade Chronicles X looked like a miracle. It looked like a damn miracle. The game looked fucking amazing. The, the zoomed out camera and the fucking the scenery. And this was on a fucking live stream on the internet. Good quality live stream, but still, this isn't going to be the real quality. 1080p, those graphics, 60 frames a second, that Fantasy Star Online feel, and you know Xenoblade Chronicles X gotta have online multiplayer. And then Monster Hunter 4 for the new 3DS. No, man, th this shit looks amazing. Oh my god, that was so beautiful, man. I'm losing my shit right now. But all right, guys. I'm not going to stick around for too much longer. I wish I could stick around more and play Smash with you guys. But right now, there's just a lot of stuff going on. I can't really entertain you guys for that much longer. But I want to thank you for entertaining me. I want to give a shout-out to my moderators, Livi. Uh, I want to give a shout-out to Red Coin Media, my dude, Adrian. Uh, I want to give a shout-out to all you guys. Because you guys really came through. You helped your boy out when, you know, the chat was looking crazy. Hopefully, things were really cool in the chat. I wasn't able to really supervise it that well. But yo... The fucking Nintendo Direct is live right now, man. The shit is live, man. They revealed a lot of cool stuff. I'm really losing my shit with that. And you know what? I'm going to be making videos on this right now. Expect videos later today highlighting certain parts of the stream and uh, upload just detailing the entire thing. It's going to be amazing. But until then, guys, thank you for tuning in once more. And if you want to keep up with me, you can definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or you can definitely follow me on Twitch as well, too. I don't really stream much on Twitch right now. I will be streaming a fuck ton once I move. But for now, I don't. But still, if you want to keep in touch with everything that I do, these niggas in the comments, they'll hook you up with the YouTube link. Come through, watch my black ass get hype over video games. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I'm going to have to say it, man. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, from all of us, Etika's here at the Etika World Network, the Etika Inception. Have yourself a damn good one.